Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at Maritime Greenwich in East London. So we're here in Greenwich on the eastern edge of London, and it's on this site where Greenwich Palace used to stand, and that was the home of the Tudor monarchs, some of the most famous in British history, like Henry VIII, Elizabeth I, and Mary, Queen of Scots. The palace is long gone, but in its place stands a series of magnificent buildings designed by the government architect, Sir Christopher Wren, in the 17th century. You can see the Royal Naval College, the Hospital for Retired Seamen, and the Royal Observatory, which is just on a hill over here, which I'm really excited to have a closer look at. So the buildings here were designed by Sir Christopher Wren, the government architect, who was very famous and designed a lot of well-known buildings in London, including St Paul's Cathedral. Uh, and it was designed originally as a hospital for returned injured sailors, but the buildings were converted for use into a naval college where people were trained in the art of war. And funnily enough, the Navy actually only departed this area in 1998. Since then, it's been a maritime museum. Now this is Admiral Nelson, who was of course killed at the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. But after his death, he was preserved in a barrel of brandy and brought back to the old Naval College just here, where he lay in state for several days and thousands and thousands of mourners shuffled past his corpse to pay their respects to the nation's hero. This is the Queen's House, and it's one of the most important buildings here in Greenwich. It was the first Palladium-style house designed in Britain by the architect Inigo Jones. And at the time, in the 17th century, it was revolutionary because it's very plain but very classical inspired and whitewashing it was actually very unusual, especially when you remember that Palace of Greenwich, which used to stand just opposite, that was red brick and very ramshackle, so the two must have contrasted very, very sharply. Behind me, you can see the Royal Observatory, and it was founded in the late 17th century on the order of King Charles II and many important discoveries were made here, including the development of accurate time and, of course, mapping the globe. This is one of the most important things here at the Royal Observatory, and it's the prime meridian, Greenwich Mean Time, zero degrees, zero minutes, and zero seconds of longitude. The entire mapping system of the world is based on this line. Well, that's it from me here at Maritime Greenwich. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road, and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.